Hey guys, picked up a new AK. It takes Sega 12 mags. You can pick one of these up for under 500 bucks. More of something for the range for home defense. I don't think it's a really good pick because you're not really supposed to leave the magazines loaded because the soft plastic will misshape it and you, don't, you can't leave them loaded all the time. So that's one thing. And the reloads are a bit awkward on this one in particular. We can go through that in a second. Right now, I just want to talk about why I picked this up. It is a cool looking auto loading shotgun. So it should be fun take out and shoot clays. I can't even go to hunt with this. I have the magazines for it here in the great state of Illinois, along with other states. If you're gonna hunt deer or birds, it has to have um, a two round capacity uh, besides what's in the well in the chamber, right? So if it's a tube fed, you gotta throw a plug in there so you can only fit two. If it's a magazine, you can only accommodate two. I have two of these. They were $20 each and it's as far down as it goes. Only if it's two magazine, has a plug on the bottom. It looks exactly the same as the magazine it came with. So when I go out to hunt, I could run into issues if whatever, you know, government DNR guys out there and sees me, but I'm in the right, you know, same as any other shotgun. This one can shoot bird shots, buckshot, and slugs. It has an adjustable cast system up front on three. That is for light loads. I plan on leaving it there. So then I can cycle everything. If it's over gas on other loads, that's fine. I'd rather have that than have to switch in and out between all the stuff. Uh, there's four options, three being for light load, zero being for essentially no gas system, let everything blow by. I don't know. Plan maybe on three. That's what they told me there. If it over over gas, it's over gas, it should be fine. What else am I gonna do? Oh yeah, the reloading is awkward. Now unloading. Just straight down. Has a tab up front, tab in the back. You can't just kind of go in that way, kind of hit a wall, then kind of go back, forward, back, forward. So try to do it quicker. Straight down, there. Unloaded. Yeah, that's that's how I do it to be efficient. Just kind of shake it quickly, and it should fit in. Um, I have well, those four magazines, being the two that came with it that hold five, and the two that only hold two. Those would be for hunting, which I do plan to take this bird hunting at some point uh, with my old man. The other one I have is a Pro Mag. This one only holds ten. They have some. 12 round ones that I plan to order. They're all expensive. Uh, the magazines I see are like $30 a piece, um, but for something like this, I, I don't plan on having that many magazines for it, so not the end of the world. This one needs a bit more force. There you go, now it's locked in the back. And now I have 11, or sorry, I have 10 plus one, so now I have 11 you know, shells ready to go, assuming they all cycle correctly and all that. But yeah, there's also an adjustable rear sight. I don't know, that seems a bit optimistic back there to have um what would be i suppose 500 meters for a slug that's a bit optimistic but you know it's fine chamber for three inch so i can also throw in some three inch magnum loads see how many it takes for this uh for the shotgun to break can do that also but yeah should be fun try all their magazines i don't plan on buying any of the drums Besides them being expensive, um, I don't think they fit well with this shotgun because this one has like a flared and extended magazine well. Even the 10 rounder barely fits. And if I, the other ones, I, at least the photos I see in the video I see, they're a bit shorter. So I don't think the length's there and I don't want to mess with the mag well to try and make it work. But I just stick with the stuff that does work. 500 bucks, kind of the middle of the road as far as shotguns. There's obviously more expensive shotguns out there that are, you know, purpose built for home defense, all like all the Benelli's and all that out there. And there's your typical pump actions that now are going up in price, but they should be around 300, 400 bucks. It's a bit higher than that, but for what it is, what I plan to do with it, that's fine. Also has a rail up top, so I can add a red dot. This is like an introduction video on the shotgun. I have not shot it. I do plan on better organizing the videos on this channel, making a playlist. This will be its own JTS shotgun playlist when I shoot clays, go hunt bird, and then deer would be next year if I do take this out. And if it doesn't break till then, then I'll take it out. And the only reason I, you know, I, I do think it could break, it's, it's China made. I, I have not seen many videos or any reviews on this one in particular. So we shall see if it breaks. I think it has a warranty so I can send it back, whatever. But that's if, if that happens. Regular maintenance, cleaning it and all that should be fine. And it's an AK, so it should be fine. That's it for this video. Also came with some other chokes um, and a little tool and a screwdriver and a manual in the box. But I don't really do like unboxes that way. Not the I mean, you guess them, but you yeah, know whatever. That is it for this video. Try to keep it five minutes. Thanks for watching. Furniture fairly cheap, but it should hold up fine. Nice for a butt pad on the back. That is all.
Thank you guys for the quick reload. And the bolt kind of wants to stick. I don't know if that's because it's empty like that is not fully in battery. Now it is. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.